Before Ukraine's spring offensive, a leak has left the U.S. intelligence community reeling. Top secret documents show Ukraine's air defense vulnerabilities, details of Russia's planned attacks, the infamous Wagner Group trying to buy weapons from NATO member Turkey, and how China may increase its aid to Russia if Ukraine strikes deep in Russia. Other documents show the U.S. spying on allies, with South Korean officials concerned about a U.S. request for ammunition and Israel's Mossad encouraging protests against judicial reforms. Some documents are marked T.S. No Foreign, meant only for Americans, and some date back to just days ago. These leaked documents started to appear sometime late last year and early this year on a very small Discord server. Eric Toller, a researcher with Scripps News partner Bellingcat, has been in touch with teenagers who were in this gaming channel on the Discord messaging platform. They told Toller that only a fraction of the classified documents shared there have gone public, and now the channel has been shut down. There were hundreds and hundreds of these leaked, classified, secret, top secret documents posted in this tiny, tiny Discord channel of a few dozen people. Um, of those, a fraction of these were posted onto some other Discord channels, but there are still hundreds that have not seen the light of day. Toller says the teenagers believed the original poster was an adult who was just showing off. He didn't do this to boost Russia. He shared these documents to, sh to make his friends impressed with him. <laughs> That was his motivation and nothing, no geopolitical motives, no ideology, as far as I know, from talking to the people who've seen these documents as they were coming in in real time on the Discord channel. It was just him trying to impress his buddies. And, and a lot of his friends didn't even think they were real. The leaker is thought to be an American insider, according to current and former intelligence sources who spoke to Scripps News. An investigation is focused on the Defense Department's J-2 Directorate for Intelligence. I would be surprised if someone's not identified within a month. That's because sources say that when a U.S. intelligence officer accesses a file, the activity is commonly logged. These leaked documents appear to have been printed and folded, and printing also typically requires a registered personal code, according to the sources. But for now, retired special agent Peter Lapp, who focused on espionage and counterintelligence at the FBI, says more classified documents could surface. Until they're identified, then and, and at least taken offline until the Bureau can conduct its investigation, uh, it's possible that this individual remains in access and still has access to classified information. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov denied any involvement by Moscow. And Lapp says a connection to Russia's intelligence services seems unlikely. If you had a relationship with, with the Russian intelligence service, you would provide this information clandestinely and, and you would minimize the public exposure. And I think the way this was done certainly suggests to me that this is not someone who already has a relationship with the Russian intelligence services. Some of the files were doctored to lower counts of Russians killed in action and to raise Ukrainians. Officials in Kyiv accused Russia of making alterations. For now, there are intelligence officers who fear that U.S. human sources may be in danger. Certain methods used to spy on Russia could end. Future operations may be threatened. And of course, uh, this could also impact U.S. relations uh, with our allies. And among the most damaging pieces of information in these documents is one, that Ukrainians' air defenses have largely been depleted, and two, that the U.S. has been using a secret advanced satellite system to spy on Russia. Certainly, both of those points could potentially give Russian forces a major boost chance.